What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Today we're focusing on the Los Angeles Kings bringing in Marion Gabrick in exchange for Matt Fratton and a second and third round pick in the. Uh, in, I haven't got the years, but go back to the the main part of it. Obviously, being Gabrick. Gabrick won a time with the Kings as a free agent back in 2009, and now he's you know with them down the stretch in the last year of his contract. You know the Columbus thing didn't work out for him. The last year in New York didn't work out for him. Uh, you know Fratton, that trade really didn't work out too well. They got Scrivens and flipped Scrivens, so you know I guess that part worked out. But Fratton was kind of a round peg in a square hole, and it just never really worked for him in Los Angeles. And uh, bringing in a guy like Marion Gabrick. He's a natural right winger. Torts playing him on the left really didn't work out too well on Broadway, but I guess in Hollywood it's going to work out because Hollywood always gets its happy ending. And besides, guys, just in the entertainment industry, L.A. is better than New York, just plain and simple. And all due respect to, to the homies in, in, uh, in, in New York and NYC. Uh, but going back to, uh, to, to Gabrick, you know, the real, the real story, you know, I don't know what he does, to be honest with you. I know he gets hurt a lot. But, I mean, I don't know. I know what he's done. I don't know what he's going to do down the stretch, I should say. Um, you know, I just... I'm fine with what they gave up for him. I just don't know how well he fits. Especially when you look at, like, what teams got for, um, you know, for Vanek. You know, what team, what Montreal had to give up, which is a second and a prospect, which I'm still waiting to hear from. Well, Kohlberg, the Swedish kid. And, uh, you know, Molson really didn't cost you that much either. And I think Molson and Vanek, both of them better fits for the Los Angeles Kings. Um, but we'll see what Gavrik does. I, I'm curious to see. Clashed a lot with Tortorella, and, you know, Daryl Sutter um, isn't as much of a screamer as Torts, but, um, you know, it. you'll see how it works out. I mean, this is um, something to keep an eye on. Um, you know, in terms of L.A. has been playing great hockey since the Olympic break. Their players had the best Olympic tournament out of any team in the league, for my money. You know, I'd uh, say what you want to join on the Quicks performance against uh, Finland, but he had a 147 goals against average in the Olympics. Dustin Brown played pretty well. Voinov was pretty good. Kopitar's uh, Slovenia team wasn't tr- atrocious. He played pretty well. And, uh, you know, Carter and, and Doughty won the uh, gold medal, and Doughty was one of the best players on the Olympics. So, Gabrick joins this team that, you know, has... Uh, a lot of um, legitimate winners in the lineup, both on the international and Stanley Cup level, with you know the majority of the team that won the Cup two years ago in place. And uh, you know maybe that's what it takes. You know, uh, Gabrick. I remember Minnesota was an electrifying player at times, was electrifying in New York, but he just can't stay healthy. And uh, you know if he can stay healthy down the stretch and continue to produce and put up a Sutter and adjust playing on the left wing, he can be a, a definite, um, you know, good acquisition for LA. It's just a matter of all those things coming into place, and that's going to be something to keep an eye on uh, going forward. Anyway, that's on this episode of The Power Play with CJ and the Los Angeles Kings acquire Marion Gabrick from the Columbus Blue Jackets, and I think Fratton will help out in Columbus. I think a change of scenery helps him. Stay tuned for more episodes of the season and beyond. Later, guys.